Welcome to Ericom Shield. In this video, we're going to take a close look at how Ericom can help an organization secure employees' access to the web. This is done using Ericom's remote browser isolation solution called Ericom Shield. Attacks on endpoints and corporate systems from the web are on the rise. External research found that 42% of successful breaches last year were initiated via the browser itself as an attack vector. This means that malware exploited vulnerabilities in the browser itself or used employees' web browsing to successfully penetrate IT infrastructure. We all think about standard web browsing as an attack vector. But along with that, we also need to consider employees clicking on embedded URLs in phishing emails as a means of malware penetrating an organization. We all see phishing emails each week, and the research shows that this attack vector continues to be a favorite of hackers. Sophisticated cyber criminals are using techniques such as embedding malicious URLs within good domains in an attempt to get around web security infrastructure, such as attacking one of the many sites and JavaScripts that are executed on a website classified as safe, such as CNN for example. The benefits of using remote browser isolation are clear-cut. End-user devices are kept isolated from targeted attacks carried in web content. Recently, Gartner recommended remote browser isolation, saying it significantly reduces the risk of end-user systems being compromised, as much as 70% in fact. It should also be noted that remote browser isolation can thwart phishing attacks and credential theft by isolating the browser sessions invoked from email phishing attacks. Ericom Shield has two key isolation use cases. Prevent web-based malware by keeping stealthy malware targeting web browsing off users' endpoints. And blocking phishing attacks. Stop phishing from compromising endpoints, delivering ransomware and stealing credentials. Ericom Shield can be deployed on-premises, or consumed as a cloud service. It requires no special client on the end user's device, whether for desktops, laptops, or mobile devices. However, it still preserves the user experience of using the clipboard, bookmarks, printing, plus also using and downloading attachments. By executing certain URLs in a remote browser container and just sending a safe stream to the endpoint, we allow a standard browsing user experience while keeping the endpoint safe. When the tab is closed, the remote browser container is destroyed. We call this zero trust browser isolation. To the end user, their user experience is seamless. They see no difference in how the web page is displayed. Instead of risky and complex code being sent to the endpoint, Ericom Shield only sends some Ericom sanctioned JavaScript code to enable connection back to the Ericom Shield solution. On the left, you can see the large amount of JavaScripts and external URLs typically delivered to the user's endpoint. On the right side, you can see the minimal safe code sent down to the browser by Ericom Shield. Ericom Shield, together with Forcepoint Web Security, allows for different levels of isolation. Let's discuss intelligent isolation in this example use case. An end user connects to Forcepoint Web Security to access the web. Forcepoint then uses its technology to categorize the URL being accessed. If the website is classified as safe, then access directly to that site is allowed. If the website is classified as unsafe, then access to the website is blocked. If the website is classified as uncategorized, neither known good or known bad, then the user is then allowed to go to the website with Ericom Shield doing remote isolation, thereby keeping the endpoint safe from malware. Let's take a closer look at a demo to see how this all looks to an end user. We will configure the force point block page to send Facebook to Ericom Shield for safe usage. Start by going to the force point admin console and then policy management. We'll set the default policy to block the Facebook category. In the category filter, select Social Web Facebook. 
Once this category is set to be blocked, click the OK button. And remember to hit Save and Deploy in the upper right corner. Now let's configure our web browser to use the Forcepoint proxy. We'll use Firefox. Go to Options and then scroll down to Network Settings. Configure the browser to use the Forcepoint proxy address. Let's first test browsing to an allowed website, NY Times. View the source and you can see that all the website code is downloaded to the local browser. Now open Facebook.com and it will be blocked by Forcepoint. A link has been added to the block page to allow the user to open the blocked site in Ericom Shield. The website will be open safely in browser isolation. View the source and you'll see that nothing is ever downloaded to the local device. Ericom. Be connected. Be secure.